about 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by ocean. So actually looking at ocean water and the things that go on in it and underneath it is a big part of geology. Now if we look at the world's land masses, obviously rain falls on them, we have rivers that enter the ocean, and even though we call that fresh water, it contains small quantities of dissolved minerals. And those dissolved minerals then reach the ocean. Now ocean water has a different capacity to hold different types of materials. Some substances, you can have a whole lot of them dissolved in the water. But others, the water can only hold a slight quantity. For example, quartz is a very abundant mineral in the earth and a little bit of quartz is carried into the ocean, but the ocean doesn't contain very much of it. And so when it does uh, enter the ocean, it doesn't build up to large quantities, but it does what we call precipitates. It precipitates into a solid form, sinks down to the bottom, and produces a material that we call chert. Another example of that is the mineral calcite. This is a specimen of calcite here in mineral form and the ocean once again can contain, can contain some calcite but not huge quantities of it. And so we have the calcite building up in the ocean just a little bit and then it precipitates to form a rock called limestone which is commonly found in many areas of the world, one of the more abundant rocks formed in the ocean. Now there are some substances that the ocean uh, can hold in large quantities. The most Important of those is salt, sodium chloride, the ordinary halite or table salt with which we're all familiar. Now if you take the entire oceans as a whole, they contain about 3.5% dissolved minerals. And the largest bulk of that, over two-thirds, is ordinary table salt. And if you have the right situation, for example, in the Red Sea, for example, it's a, a warm area, fairly dry environment, it's isolated so you don't have good mixing. The salinity, the quantity of salt in there, can actually go as high as 4%. And so at that point, we start having evaporation take place and rock salt, very common material, is precipitated. The other abundant materials in the ocean are magnesium chloride, which is somewhat similar to salt in terms of overall uh, chemistry, and we also have sodium sulfate. And there are others, as a matter of fact, there's a very, very great wealth of minerals dissolved in the ocean. But as far as actually exploiting those and removing them, it's very, very difficult because you have to process a tremendous amount of water to get a certain usable amount of material out.